Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. So this is a highly suggested video from you guys. Everybody wanted a campus tour. I can't give you a full campus tour because I don't even know that much of campus. But I was able to come up with a few places that I tend to go to. Obviously because of coronavirus you guys can't come up and see the campus. So I thought this video would be really beneficial for the people that are planning on coming to Falmouth. If you're new to my channel, my name is Chloe and I study marine and natural history photography at Falmouth University. <laughs> really bad, I work for the university and I've only just got a Falmouth jumper. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get on with the video. I really hope this is useful and you like it. Welcome to Pennering Campus at Falmouth University. We share our campus with Exeter University as well because Exeter also have a campus here in Cornwall. Excuse all the building work at the moment, we are having a new building being built. I'm not actually too sure what's going on here but hopefully it should be a good addition. I'm going to start off in the exchange which is where the library and compass is. This is the place where you can go to reach out for help. So if you have any learning difficulties, this is where you should want to head. The library is usually open 24 seven, but recently it's been closing early because of coronavirus. So this is the library on Penryn campus. There are multiple different places you can study with different zones. The library has over a hundred thousand books, as well as a wide range of journals, magazines, specialist videos and DVD collections, and also has CDs and vinyls. The the library really does cater for everybody's needs. We also share a lot of the library space with Exeter University, which is a really good thing and allows people to collaborate. The IT facilities are open access to PC and Mac. Every computer has a wide range of software to meet your subject specific needs. You can also rent out laptops if you want to. It's really hard to show you because of the circumstances, but this is the Stannery Bar. Usually it would be a lot busier than this and the pool tables would be in use. This is our student bar and it overlooks the cafeteria. The Stannery is open from 10 and you can get food, coffee and drinks. They also hold events here like quizzes. So when I filmed this, it was actually on a Saturday and as you can see, the cafeteria is very much closed. But if you're in catered accommodation, this is where you would get your food Monday to Friday. Directly opposite the library, we have our campus shop. You can get everything that you would need in the shop. Something that I noticed that was pretty new was they are finally selling Falmouth merch and not just Exeter. Last year I couldn't find any Falmouth jumpers, so when I saw one today I finally bought one. I also spotted this Exeter t-shirt that says it's probably the best university in the world, which is obviously not true, but of course I'm going to be biased. But if you are planning on being a Falmouth student, get used to the comments. They also sell postcards and the famous Cornish Rattler Cider. My favourite flavour is the pineapple one. You can also get stationery and this fancy Falmouth sketchbook and it's also well stocked with drinks, not that I'm encouraging that. Now moving on to the Institute of Photography, which we call the IOP. If you are studying photography at Falmouth, whether that is BA, Press and Ed, Fashion or MNHP like myself, this is where the majority of your time would be spent, well, in a normal world without COVID. The stores currently have 2.5 to 3 million pounds worth of equipment for all photography students to use for free. But if you do bring it back late, then you do get fined, which is understandable. They get a budget each year to buy new and improved equipment, and it is quoted to be one of the best equipped unis for photography facilities in Europe. We have a microscopic room where you can take some really cool pictures. It's absolutely insane to see something under a microscope. So even if you're not doing MNHP, definitely, definitely, definitely get an induction on this because it's incredible. The studios are all different sizes. Some students that were currently photographing when I was filming were very kind to let me take some videos of them. All the studios are professional standard. At the moment, Studio One is being used as a storeroom to quarantine kit after people have used it. But one of the favorite studios is Studio Two. I did a photo shoot with my friend Hannah in the studio the other day. It's something that I actually really enjoy doing because on MNHP we don't really get to do much studio work. Everybody has the opportunity to do workshops on using all the different equipment. One thing I never got around to doing was using the dark rooms. But I'm not fussed because the red room really does actually give me a headache. Also, don't worry, I did check that no one was using this room before I went in and filmed. Here is a finishing room where lots of people cut up their photos and put them on light boxes. It's also where they store all the coloured backdrops and there's also a mini studio. This is my favourite room, which is the film processing machine, which is so much easier and quicker to use than using a dark room. You put your arms in the machine, put your film into the feeder, and the machine does it all for you. It's absolutely amazing, and it's not time consuming at all. Upstairs we have the hub, which is where all the computers are. As you can see, it's looking pretty empty at the moment, but this is where you can scan your film, edit your photos or videos, or just come here to do work rather than go to the library. 
This section here would usually be a gallery, but at the moment it's set up for workshops. You can also send your prints to the photo lab to get printed professionally. There aren't really many lecture rooms that I can show you at the moment, so here's some really poorly filmed footage that I took of some of the different rooms that are all used for different things. This footage is so bad, I'm so sorry. And we also have a little secret walled garden, which I probably wouldn't have found out if no one had told me. This looks a lot prettier in any other season than winter, but it's a great place on campus to take photos or sit and eat your food. So that is my campus tour. I really hope you guys liked it. I really hope that it was useful to you. I'm really sorry that there's not much else that I can show you. It's just being able to get access to places as well. I don't feel like I can really show you places that I don't even know, but hopefully that should give you a good feel for the university. And hopefully you can come up to campus soon and all this coronavirus will just go away because I really would love that to happen, even though it's probably not gonna happen, but you know, I am always doing university content. So if you are planning on going to university or coming to Falmouth, please click the subscribe button. It'll be really, really appreciated. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and have a good week.